ज्ञानांजन शलाकय चक्षुन्मल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवाश श्रीरूप साग्रजात सह गणरघुनाथन्व तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापाद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशि गौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से अतोन्वयादित चार्थे सुभिज्य स्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय कवे मुह्यूरय तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुहक सत्यम परम धीमहे नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्ति अस्तु विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यात भूता शिव मिथोधिया मनस्च भद्रम भजता दधोक्षज आवेशता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो टेन चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन वर्स नंबर टेन सो वी आर रीडिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ सबडिंग Kaliya snake by Sri Krishna, and we read that how the cows they collapsed by drinking the poisonous water, and also the boys. And Krishna revived them, and then he decided to purify the river. So he went on the kadamba tree, and he jumped. into the lake which was near yamuna river the lake was not linked to the river therefore river was not polluted so only the lake and he went inside and he had little fun he was swimming around <coughs> slapping kicking 
lot of energy and it was hot anyway to summer time so it's pleasant to get inside the water from the lake in the summer in Vrindavan so when he did all this mess in somebody's lake then the <laughs> owner of the lake got upset says who is this boy suddenly jumping into my lake Right? Everybody protects their property and snakes are very envious so they protect more than anyone else so he got really upset so you have seen many times trespassers will be prosecuted people write that you know, they don't want anyone to step on their property they get very upset why did you touch my property. So snake was very upset. So he came and he attacked the boy. He says, I am snake. This guy is a piece of cake. What is this? I'll finish him in a second. So he came and he started biting him. That's what we read. Right? So although Krishna's body is described as very beautiful here, very soft and nice, wonderful feet, Kamalodarangri. But he did not see the beauty, right? Because his vision is different. To appreciate beauty, you also have to have a beautiful mind, which he did not have. So when you are in angry mood, everything looks topsy turvy, right? As once. Um, what is that? Recitation of Rama and going on. So the speaker was describing when Hanuman went to Lanka and he was destroying the garden there. So he was describing that the, there was beautiful flowers there, white flowers. So Hanuman was also listening. He says, no, 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 flowers are not white. <laughs> they were red. So he says, but in Rama it is written that it is white flowers. He says, no, that is Rama and I was personally present. <laughs> what are you talking about, you know? So he says, well, this Ramayana cannot be wrong. It's written by Adi Kavi Valmiki. He says, well, he cannot be wrong, but I also cannot be wrong. I am the direct witness. After all, he is only describing what I saw. <laughs> he was not there. So who is more authentic, I or he? So then say, so, okay, let's go and ask Sita Devi, because she was also another person who was present. So they went to Mother Sita and they asked that who is right? Is it Valmiki who is describing is right or is Hanuman is right? So he said Valmiki is right. So Hanuman was shocked. He says, how is it? He says, Mataji, how is it this? I was there, I saw the flowers. He says, yes, my dear child, you are in a very angry mood at that time. Uh, your eyes were red out of anger, so everything appeared reddish to you, but the flowers were actually white. <laughs> so we see here that he says, Sandasya marmasu rusha bhujiya chachade. So he was angry, rusha. So out of anger, he was biting the vital parts of Krishna. And then finally what he did, that he caught him in his grip. So then, what happened at that time? He says, Tam naga bhoga parivita madrishta cheshta aloka tat priya shakha prasupa vrisharta Krishna pitatma shruhidartha kalatra kama dukhana shoka bhaya mudha dhiyo nipetu So, the friends of Krishna, tat priya shakha and pasupa, 
the protector of the cows they were very much tormented bhrishartha how alokyatam by seeing krishna and what did the soil naga bhoga parivitam adrishta chesta so they saw that he was in the grip of the snake's body and he was not making any effort so that was more troublesome that not only that naga bhoga parivitam that the snake's body was around him he was tightly gripped by snake's body but he was also adrishta chesta so he was not making any efforts he thought that he is really tied in his grip and he cannot make any movement so he is finished now so therefore in the dear friends of krishna and pasupa the cowherd man they were very much tormented by seeing this and the krishna arpit atma shruhidartha kalatra kama they are the people who have surrendered everything their own self their relatives their wealth their wife and their very desires to krishna so dukha anushok maya bhaya mudha dhiyo nipetu so they were completely bewildered by the suffering grief fear and they fell on the ground they were unable to tolerate it because it is said again and again that krishna is their very life they live for the sake of krishna not for themselves so when they saw krishna in this state obviously they cannot just remain normal so mood of the year their mind they could not think what to do they did not think that we should jump inside try to protect him or anything just fell down confused so parivitam veshtitam parivitam means veshtitam means surrounded caught adrishta cheshtam iti he was not moving kaliya kaliyasya utsah vardhanartham kshanam bhita stabdhavat stita so why he was not making any effort to get out of the grip of kaliya snake so he says that he was just trying to increase the enthusiasm of kaliya so that kaliya thinks now i got him so utsah vardhanartham and so for short time he acted as if he was full of fear and stabdha and stunned due to fear therefore he stared like that so it's like sometimes a cat catches a mouse so then she leaves the mouse she doesn't immediately kill so she leaves the mouse then mouse thought oh i got released <laughs> so he runs then she catches it again then leaves again then catches again plays like this so krishna is also leaving him it's not killing him immediately so it's okay you play a little bit so therefore he was not moving yadva alternatively are kaliya tvaya yathesnam prathamam dashyatam veshtyatam aham pashyat balam darshishyami iti veer darpena sthitam or krishna told kaliya that oh kaliya come on bite me as much as you like with all your hoods and hold me in your grip as tight as you can and later on i'll show you my power so therefore he was speaking like heroic pride those who are heroic people they also have their pride so he was showing that and therefore he stood there quietly so let's go ahead let me see how much strength you have like some big 
boxer fighting with a small guy. He says, okay, go on punching me. Let me see how much punches you can give me and if you can make me move from my place. So that's how he was doing it. So now the question is that here it says that these coward people, they have offered whatever else but also their wife. So why wife is mentioned here because these cowherd boys were not married. They didn't have wife. So why says Kalatra Kama? So he says that this is not referring to the friends of Krishna because there are two separate words. One is Tatpriya Sakaha and Pashupa. So his dear friends and Pashupa is cowherd men. So it could be their adjective or it could be a separate word. So therefore he says that this Pashupa is not the friends, but these are different. So he describes that. He said, Pashupaha kechit gopaha. So Pashupa refers to some other cowherd man who was also nearby. And they also came. Shali kshetrastha krishkascha shigramayat. They were in their fields doing some farming. Just like now uh, if you go to the bank of Yamuna, some people do some farming. So they were doing some farming work on the bank of Yamuna when they heard all this, so they also came running. So they are the ones. Sigramata, Teki Drisha, Krishna Arpita, Larnartha Matma Deva. Neste. So they are the one who are described that they have offered all their self, their wealth, wives, desires, everything for Krishna. Gavo Vrisha Vats Tariha Krandamana Sudukhitaha Krishna Nastekshana Bhita Rudantya Iva Tastire. So now this was a description of Krishna's friends and nearby cowherd men. This sloka describes this what happened to the cows and bulls and calves. So he says that cows, bulls and calves, they were all crying. Krandamana Sudukhita. They were and very much unhappy. Dukhita. And Krishna and Yasta Ikshana, their gaze was fixed on Krishna. So they were just looking at him, unable to do. So Bhita Rudantya Ivatasthire. And they were very much fearful and crying and they stood there. So they also felt Krishna's suffering. Rudantya iva iti bhayavagrena ashunam shoshat. So why is it said that Rudantya iva? Because first it says they are krandamana, then they are crying, then it says Rudantya, which also means crying, but then it says as if crying. So it says that meaning is that the tears were getting dried up because of fear and anxiety. They were actually crying, but the tears were not falling down. They were so much in fear and anxiety. Then the tears got dried up. What is that sound? So now he describes what happened in Raja in the village. So therefore the word Atha is used. Atha Vraja Mahot Pata Strividha Hyatu Daruna Utpetur Bhuvi Divya Atmani Asanne Bhasanshi. So at that time in Raja there were signs of very bad omen, very terrible bad Omens, what they call portents. So, Ati Daruna, 
Mahotpata, Strivida, three types Utpeta. So these are three types of troubles which were seen on the earth, in the sky and in their own bodies. And this all indicated Asanya Bhaya Sanchina. So these omens they they were indicative of imminent trouble that something very bad is about to happen so that's that's what omen means like if you are going and black cat crosses your path then what happens it's indicative that you are going to have something so people then stop come back or you come out of your house and somebody sneezes and that is considered as a bad omen, right? So, is there any Shastric basis for this omen? Is there what is this? <laughs> this? This is a Shastra? <laughs> Just like in routine sometimes as you said when we see a cat who is crossing the path, especially black cat no, no, you are talking about cat part or you are talking about the omen in general? Both, I mean, that is also an omen, so that was an example. So, this is the already Shastra is there. Black so, why so, why you said both? Because that was given as, as an example by you, right? So, and we see that practically happening many times these days. So, should we like take it little seriously or like... <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't need to take seriously. <laughs> but it is there. <coughs> you don't need to take seriously. You can just take it laughing. Hmm? Uh, so, example, I have given you a little bit. You can do it too. I am just giving example is given what people know, right? If you read these examples, what is there, you have never seen, you don't see earth trembling, right? <laughs> or some meteor falling from the sky, Do you, have you seen that? So you see only cat, somebody sneezing, <laughs> like, so therefore I have to give that example to you. <laughs> yeah, yes, but it is the, um, there is exist in the um, Yotisha, some part that calls Nimita, and yeah, the, all of these signs have yeah, some. There is a Shakun Tantra, is there? Mm. It's called Shakun. Shakun, also. So there is Shakun Tantra, which describes all this. And but Bhagavatam describes all this. When you listen to Maharaj in the first canto, you must have read when Krishna left the planet and Arjuna came and he was seeing so many omens like jackals throwing fire from their mouth looking at the sky and the deities were crying right so description like that all the auspicious animals crossing you from your left side and inauspicious ones from your right side so so many omens described there So there is, these are three types. It says Trividha, so it describes what are Trividha. Trividha, Bhuvi, Bhukampade. So first one is on the earth. So I already said trembling of earth, earthquake. So earthquake was coming at that time. And this happened, there was a big earthquake. Only thing, they did not have multi-story buildings, so that was okay. No concrete building was there. And Divi Ulka Pata De. And also in the sky there are meteors which were falling down. We have seen sometimes. They fall, some parts of the other matter comes into the earth's orbit and then starts burning due to friction. So Atmani and also in their own body. So what are the bad omen on the body? If you are man's left limbs start quivering twitching twitching your left arm left leg left eye left ear 
and for women it is right side. This happens many times. Yeah, so that's bad omen. <laughs> if it is left side, if it is right side for you, it is good. So sometimes you see your right eye is twitching, right? Means something good happening. So that's what was happening. So Bhagavataha Khalu Amangal Ashanka Rahityapi Yadutpata Prakatyam Tad Gavam Gopadi Namcha Dukha Suchanartham. So now he, he gives an explanation for this. He says that there is no possibility of Bhagavan Krishna having any inauspiciousness coming to him, any harm coming to him. No harm can come to him. So then why these things are coming? So he says this manifested to show the suffering which the cows and cowherd men were feeling at that time. Because cows were crying, Krandamana, right? Gavo, Vrisha, Vatsatariya. That's what he said, Krandamana. So they were suffering and cowherd boys and cowherd men, the field farming people, they were all suffering. So this was indicative of that. Kimva tattad adhishtatri devanamapi Krishna Priti Matvena Aswarya Vishmaranat Krishna Api Ashubhashankitaha Utpatam Prakatiya Masuriti. Or another explanation is that the presiding deity of earth and sky and all these material elements. So they also have Priti for Krishna and at that time they forgot Krishna's supremacy that he is Bhagavan, he is God, nothing wrong can happen to him. So out of love they thought that something wrong is happening to Krishna and therefore they manifested these disturbances in themselves. So that is another explanation. So then what did the Vrajvasis do when they saw all this happening? So Tanalaksha Bhayod Vigna Gopananda Puro Gamaha Vinaramena Ga Krishnam Jatva Charetum Gatam. So then when they saw all these symptoms, they were disturbed, their minds were disturbed due to fear. And then all the coward men headed by Nanda Maharaj, they thought that today Krishna has gone without Balram, Adi Guru, did not go with him and therefore he is in trouble. The day Krishna goes without Balram, he is in trouble. Right? Last year he went without Balram, Aghasura. This year he went without Balram. Kaliya. So they thought that today Krishna has gone without Balaram for tending the cows. Tair dur nimittair nidhanam matva praptam atadvidaha tat pranastad manaskaste dukha shoka bhayatara. So they thought that all these nimitta, nimitta means omen. Like Arjuna was also seeing Nimitta Nicha Pashyam. He told Krishna that I am seeing bad omens before the war, so I don't want to fight. So Tair Durnimitta Nidhanam Matva. So they thought that Krishna is dead. That is the meaning of this. So Praptam Atadvida. So not knowing the reality and tat pranas tad manaska they whose very life is krishna whose mind whose mind was fixed on him so they became dukkha shoka bhayatura they became very much troubled tormented by sadness grief and fear abala vriddha vanitaha sarve anga pashu vrittayaha nirjagamur gokulad dina Krishna Darsana Lalasa. So all of them, from children to old to ladies, everybody, 
so they who had pasu vritti means now they lost their sense and this like animals they all went nirjagmur gokula they came out of gokula and in a very dina pitiable situation krishna darshana lalasa their only desire was to see krishna because this is the nature of love when you have love then there is always some ashanka some tendency to think that something wrong can happen to the object of your love some person whom you like whom you love has gone and he doesn't come in time then you get worried why is not come something must have happened especially in the olden days where there was no cell phone no whatsapp so you don't get any message and the only message you can see is like these types of messages this is the old whatsapp message comments what is the meaning of pashu vritti i mean what sense it is used how did they become I mean, just like animals without discrimination without thinking that krishna can nothing can happen to him simple सो तान आलक्ष्य गोकुलात निर्जगम इति तृतीय नन सो बाय सीइंग ऑल दिस ओमेंस दे केम आउट ऑफ द गोकुल देयर विलेजेस एंड निधनम एव प्राप्तम मत्वा सो दे थॉट दैट कृष्णा इज फिनिश्ड इज डेड so now he gives another meaning to nidharam nidhanam nidhanam means death so dhanam means wealth nidhanam means no wealth literally it means no wealth but the word is used in the sense of death because when you have death then your wealth possession everything is gone right you not carry anything with you so that time you realize your true situation it's like when you are born you don't have any penny with you when you die it's same so therefore it is called nidhanam so he gives another meaning another meaning is nitram dhanam so nidhanam means without dhana and nidhanam can also mean complete wealth nitram dhanam so what is that shri yamuna hrad roopam swaviharaspada so krishna was enjoying inside the kaliya hrad and that is his wealth so nidhanam so knowing that he is having nice time that is saraswati that is saraswati sambhav that is just taking another meaning because we don't want that any description of krishna's death comes here so mahashokat pasunam iv buddhi vivek pratikar jnan sunna vritti satta e sambhav so this is replying to your question what is the meaning of pashu vritti so pashu vritti is described here that due to intense grief they were like animals so like animals here does not mean that they are like foolish or stupid but because of intense grief their buddhi their vivek and pratikar gyan means how to contract the present situation how to get rid of problem they became completely blank from that it's like if you get a big shock then you are unable to think all the you may be very intelligent person but in that state of fear or state of shock that you cannot exercise your viveka your intellect so that's the meaning of pashu vritti and it behaved like animals that's what it means 
तांस तथा कातरान्वीक्ष भगवान माधवो बल प्रहस्य किंचिन्नोवाच प्रभावज्यो न जस्य स सो बलराम वॉज ऑल्सो देयर सो बलराम ऑल्सो जॉइन देम सो वेन बलराम सो ऑल दिस पीपल इन दैट पिटिएबल सिचुएशन सो वट डिड ही डू ही लाफ्ट सो भगवान माधवो बल भगवान बलराम हु इज कॉल्ड हेयर एज माधव सो माधव ए वर्ड इज यूज जनरली फॉर कृष्णा बट हेयर इट इज यूज फॉर बलराम ऑल्सो सो बिकॉज माधव ऑल्सो मीन्स हु कम्स इन द मधु वंश मधु डायनेस्टी माधव मीन्स टू मीनिंग वन इज माँ मीन्स लक्ष्मी ध मीन्स हसबैंड हसबैंड ऑफ लक्ष्मी और इट कैन ऑल्सो मीन मीन्स लाइक पांडवा कमिंग इन पांडु सन्स ऑफ पांडु सो मधु डायनेस्टी एनी वट इज कॉल्ड माधव सो बलराम इज ऑल्सो माधव सो ही लाफ्ट नॉट लाइक लिटल बिट बट प्रहस्य लाउडली so why did he laugh he says kinchin no watch he didn't say anything he only laughed looking at them so this is considered as a rasa bhas mm-hmm. that somebody is so sad and you go to that person and then you start laughing so what kind of a friend you are somebody is completely in grief there's a death in the family so you go there instead of giving some consolation you go there and you start laughing so what are they going to think and this guy is crazy so this is what balram was doing right so and he didn't say anything he did not even say why i'm laughing so he says prabhava gyanu just so why was he laughing because he knew his brother's prowess so he was confident nothing could happen to him so in uh, priti sandarbha jeev go swami cites this shloka and he explains this that why this rasa bhas here so he says that balram's intelligence Balram is intelligent person so he laughed because he thought that if i also become sad they are already sad then they will become more sad right if you see somebody crying and if you have some relationship with that person you also feel the sadness so then you then that person sees you then he starts crying more <laughs> so then he the thought that if i become sad these people will die here only <laughs> they will not even go up to the kaliya radha so he laughed thinking that if i laugh then they will think that this balram loves his brother very much and if he is happy that means krishna is safe so then they will not be so sad so is the explanation jeev was some gives so let's see what was not check what he says so ma vidya cha yatah prokta tasya isho yato bhavet tasman madhav nama si dhave swami ti kirtatah iti harivam sokta nirukte so according to harivans puran the meaning of madhava is given as follows it says ma means vidya or knowledge and the master of that is called madhava and dhava means swami so means master of knowledge so that's why the word madhava so why is giving this meaning here eh? as madhava as knowledge because he is showing that balram had knowledge of krishna that krishna is safe nothing can happen to him so for that reason 
Shukdev Goswami is using the word Madhava here. Otherwise, what is the need to use this word? Could have used something else. So, just to indicate that he has knowledge and that's why he was laughing. Otherwise, he would be also sad knowing that his brother is in trouble. So, Prabhavam Leela Ashwaryam Janati Tisa. So he knows the Prabhava, the Supermacy, the Majesty of Krishna, Leela. So he knows that he is doing this Leela to subdue the snake. Therefore, nothing can happen to him. So Tasya Svanuja Mahaprema Vatvapi Premna Tada Ashwarya Anavarnam Krishna Chanu Ranjit Leela Shakti So now the question may come that okay he has knowledge but he also loves Krishna and when you have love for somebody then Aishwarya becomes covered by the love. That's why when you love somebody you are always having some anxiety about that person's well-being. So he has so much love for Krishna, he has Mahaprema. So why is that his Aishwarya was not covered and he is thinking, oh, nothing will happen to him. He is all right. So he says, this is because Krishna wanted it like that. Krishna Icha Anuranjita Leela Shakti. So it is the Leela Shakti of Krishna following Krishna's will that it uncovered the Aishwarya Gyan of Balram. So that Balram remains aware of Krishna's power. Anyatha Sri Nandadin Shoka Vegena Sarpradam Mangshum Shigram Mimangshun Ko Varyatum Pravedet Ibhav. Otherwise, all these Nanda Maharaj, cowherd people, they will go to the lake. And they all want, they will see Krishna there in that position, they all want to jump inside. Because nobody wants to live without him. So they will all jump immediately. So then who is going to stop them if his knowledge also gets covered? Then everybody will jump inside the lake. So therefore his knowledge was kept, uncovered, so that he is the one who is going to stop them. That is the significance. So, Prahasyaiti Matsvarupena Sheshanagena Sahakrida Na Roste Kintu Prakrita Kshudra Kaliya Sarpadme Naivaiti Tasya Narlila Tusmarnath. So, he gives another meaning of why he was laughing. He says, Look at this Krishna. He is playing with this fatty material snake, Kaliya. But he never plays with Seshnag, who is my form. <laughs> he wants to play, he can also play with my form as a Seshnag. Then I can embrace him all around. So this snake is getting that opportunity to have Krishna's body in his grip, right? Nobody else has grip like that on Krishna's form. So he says he is playing with this snake which is Prakrita Kshudra Kaliya Sarpadme, the lowest snake called Kaliya, which is insignificant material but doesn't play with the Shreshnag. So that's why he was laughing. He says this is because Krishna is performing Naralila human like activities. Kinchin no vacha and therefore he did not say anything. Tesham Sokandhanam Krishnam Didrikshunam Tadavranasya Anochityad Ashakyatvacha. Then why it did not happen to the other that their knowledge was not uncovered? He says because they were completely blinded by the grief 
and they were intensely desiring to see Krishna. So therefore it will be improper to uncover their knowledge. Then nobody will go. Then well, it's okay, he's Krishna, nothing. Like the boys, they all went inside the Ghasura's mouth thinking, Krishna is there, no, he will protect. And then the next reason he says that Ashakya Tvatshe, that their love is so intense that Ashwarya cannot come up and cover their love. It was not possible. In case of Balram, why it happened? He says because Krishna personally desired it. Otherwise the love of Rajvasis is, is so deep and so intense that they cannot think of Krishna as supreme or having that Ashwari. So only sometimes when Krishna wishes, then it is possible, otherwise not. Otherwise Mother Yashoda, as we already read, she sees the whole universe in Krishna's mouth. Still she does not think. Says, what is this? Kimut Deva Maya, King Sopnova Mad, Madhya Moha. So he says, what is this? Am I dreaming? Is it some Maya? What is this? So she, she never thought that this is Krishna doing it. Because the love is like that. Kintu svaprahasa shoka abhava darshanam yato na kinchid anishta abhava grahit abhavam uhiyatva pran jihasam sthiliyamas. Yes, so now he also gives that reason which Jeeva Goswami gives. He says rather by laughing he indicated that he is not in grief. And because he is not in grief then Brajvasis will think that nothing bad has happened to Krishna and therefore they will give up the idea of giving up their life. So in this way he laughed. Tayan Veshamana Daitam Krishnam Suchaitaya Padai Bhagavan Lakshanair Jagmu Padavyayam Natatam So now, how did they find Krishna? Because Krishna goes into the forest to tend there. How do they know where is he gone? No phone, no texting, no walkie-talkie. So they traced Krishna by his footsteps. So they anvesh mana daitam Krishna. They were searching Krishna, who is there very dear to them. How they were searching? Padai Suchitaya, who was indicated by his footmarks. Because Krishna has got very special footmarks, and now that is useful. It's one purpose fulfilled by that. So Bhagwan Lakshanair Jagmu, because Krishna has got this special marks on his feet, conch, disc, club, lotus flower, all these types of marks, some seventeen marks are there. So they traced those marks. Gopis were also doing that when Krishna left Raslila. They were also tracing. So Krishna should put on shoes, then you cannot trace. So he goes barefoot. So then he becomes traceable. Like the sometimes the detectives they try to trace the criminal why with some things left behind or some signs, footprints marks on the hand. So they are tracing Krishna by his footprints. Padavya Yamuna Tatam. And in this way, tracing that they came to the bank of Yamuna. So Bhagavantam Lakshanti Yani Tai Padai Suchitaya Padavya. So by those marks which are indicative of 
his godhood they followed the path te tatra tatra jayavang kusha ashni dhajop pannani padani vishpate marge gavamanya padantarantare nirikshamana yayuranga satvaraha so then they were following this marks footprints of krishna which contained the symbols of a barley of ankusha the god and asuni thunderbolt flag on this vishpate is krishna and marge gavamanya padantarantare they also saw that his footprints were there they also hoof prints of the cows because he's following behind them so there are already hoof marks and goes over them so in between so by seeing them they very quickly came to the bank of yamuna so padai padvi gyan prakaram ah teiti so in the previous sloka it was said padai or footprints so now they say that how did they understood the route to reach where krishna is so this is by the marks vishapate he visham vashyanam gopanam patyura dakshase krishna so vishpati is krishna vish is also the word for cowherd so one who is chief or adhyaksha that is krishna generally he is you this word is used for nand maharaj but here it is used for krishna satva bhavam arsha so here sha did not become sha chasuraj is braj parivaj should have become sha so it did not become so it is a arsh priyo anyasham padana mantra antre madhye tad apohena gavam shrutinam marge satura apramatta yogina stato padhi apavadena yatha param tattvam mrigyanti tadvat so his footprints they were within the footprints of the cows and other people padana mantra antre madhye so tad apohena so removing segregating the other just following krishna's footprints there is the destination then he gives another meaning to this so the meaning is that the word go means cow because says gavam anya padantarantare pada also means word pad padantar word after word and go means also cow go means earth go means sunlight go also means vedas so he said just like in the vedas there are all types of statements like there are yagyas and vrata and parikrama and this but then there is also some statements which explain how to reach krishna right vedasya sarva rahame vedya so just as the yogis they remove the other statements and they understand the essence of the vedas how to reach krishna and they reach their destination so like that they were also following krishna's footprints and not getting confused by the other footprints so that's what it says that shruti nam marge satvara apramatta not confused so that is the meaning of satvara quick quick means not getting confused that you go to market to buy something but on the way you see some snake charmer doing the show then you stand there like in india or some katha is going on or something else some band music part is coming so you join them and you forget that you have to go to bazaar to buy something or to your destination so not like that those are all deviations so like that in shruti also tragunya vishya veda nistragunya bhavarjuna 
राइट निर्द्वंद्व नित्य स्वस्थ स्थ निर्योग क्षेम आत्मावान सो वेदा इज ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ त्रैगुण्य विषय इज देयर सो वी हैव टू बिकम निस्त्रैगुण्य नॉट बी बिवेल्डेड बाय द त्रैगुण्य विषय और एक्टिविटीज विच रिलेट टू द मेटेरियल गोल्स स्वर्ग काम हो जाए पशु काम हो जाए पुत्र काम हो जाए सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सत्वरा क्विक सो अप्रमत्ता योगी नत्तत् उपाधि अपवादे न सो रिमूविंग ऑल दैट यथा परम तत्व मृगयंती एज द रीच और सर्च और गो टू द अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ लाइक दैट दे क्विकली रीच्ड देर डेस्टिनेशन सो विल स्टॉप हेर विदर जन क्वेश्चन I would like to understand why why again these Vrajavasis why they came out to search for Krishna I understood that they yeah mm-hmm. I mean so if I remember the thread of the story then Krishna goes out in the morning with his friends to tend the cows and then the cows and the boys come to the lake they fall down because they drank the poisonous water and then Krishna goes there to the lake and challenges the snake and how is it now that suddenly all the vrajavasis come out is it because of the these omens that they think yeah, something Yeah that's what is said okay You didn't see this? Yeah. Okay. It says when they saw these omens, then they thought that something has happened to Krishna. Ah, okay. That's what they said. Pan Alaksha, seeing this, the Bhayodvigna Gopa Ananda Purogama, Vina Ramina Ga Krishna. That today Krishna has gone without Balram, so something had happened to him. That's why we see all this. Okay, and then they followed the footsteps and, okay, now I can connect it. Thank you. Anything else? Hello, Chief. Hmm. Chief, I have a question. Uh, so, uh, so this, uh, so the uh, Krishna's friends and also the coward boys are very much agree. See, Krishna is the clutches of the snake. So, I was wondering that, uh, like, generally, if this happens, one would kind of try to save Krishna or throw stones at the snake or something. So, I mean, would. So, and I was just wondering why would, would that happen? Maybe they were doing something like that. Mm-hmm. They were having that, what do they call that? Mm-hmm. Slinger? Is it called slinger? Slingshot. Slingshot. They had one probably. And they were throwing some stones. I mean, what can you do? They do not have some gun to shoot the snake. And they already knew that the water is very poisonous. And they go inside, they'll be finished. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 